Good morning and welcome to the vlog. I'm just getting ready for work right now. Um, I am going to try to get to work a little early today because I've been off since last Wednesday because I had an extra long Easter weekend. But I have a bunch of stuff to do, so I gotta get to work. Just doing my face um, yesterday, I tried out a bunch of the new products that I have picked up. Um, I think I'm gonna start doing, maybe I'll do it on the vlog or a separate video, but I'm gonna start doing a video of um, like what I, the makeup I'm wearing either that week or that couple of weeks. Cause despite picking up some new products, I have actually been trying to shop my stash a lot. I think that'll be really fun. One, because I mean, I do, well, I used to do a lot more hauls than I do now, but I still do a few hauls. Um, and I think the missing part is like coming back and showing you guys what I think about products because if I don't really, really love it, I you probably won't see it in a favorites video. But there are still a lot of products that I really like. I just don't, you know, spotlight it in a favorites video. So I think that would be fun. But today I'm going to use this cushion foundation from One Wild. I used this yesterday and damn, I think it's too dark for me. It's definitely, if I swatch it on my neck, it's definitely too dark. I guess it depends on how much I apply. If I don't apply too much of it, um, it doesn't look too dark. But can you see that? I mean, it's definitely warm, but my concern is if I get the shade that's lighter than this, it might come off a little ashy. I don't know. Once I blend it out, it seems to be okay. I do prefer foundations with a warmer undertone because I just find that if it is, um, you know, slightly cooler, it can give my skin a bit of an ashy look. Maybe the key to this is not applying too much. So it's kind of the deal with cushion foundations, right? It's not meant to be like a full coverage foundation, even though it says foundation. I always just imagine cushion foundation is what you want to wear for like a natural skin day. So I'm cool with just applying a little bit all over because um, I feel like that is a good match. If I apply a thick layer of this or a full layer of this, um, I can see where it might look a little, little orange. I also use the um, Instapop brushes that I got from my haul yesterday for the first time and I really, really like them. I'm not so much in love with the eye brushes, but the complexion brushes, like the face and the cheek brush are really nice. I have to try the um, eye brushes a couple more times before I decide. I am home now and I was picking at a blemish that I have on my forehead. Shouldn't have done that because now it is going very red. But I got a parcel from Hudson's Bay. But before I show you guys what is in it, we have to roll back to a clip from the weekend. Okay, here is my shoe shelf. Now I gotta make room for these guys. And I think I already know which pairs I'm going to say goodbye to. First one to go would be these Zara mules, uh, mainly because I just don't wear them anymore. This is a leather upper, so probably would have lasted a while. It's just that I'm kind of over the uh, style now. And then I'm also going to say goodbye to these, which I love the leopard print. I think they are such a, a neutral, really, but I want to pick up a new pair of leopard print shoes that have a lower heel. I'm looking at something with the leopard print and a maybe one to two inch block heel. I think that would look super cute, but I rarely wear these and I'm not really into like this style of heel anymore. I just moved some things around, but now these two new pairs have a new home. All of the purchases I've made on the bay.com lately have come with this $40 coupon for HelloFresh but I've never actually used it before. So let me know if you guys have actually used this and if it's worthwhile. I've seen some sponsored videos about it, but you never know about the sponsored videos. So let me know if you've used it. Onto the shoes. So like I showed you in the video, I was looking for a pair, a new pair of leopard um, shoes. I have to say that an hour after I said that, I was just perusing the bay.com for something totally unrelated and I saw these and they were perfect. <gasps> Look how cute they are. Hopefully these are 
the correct size and everything. But this is exactly what I was talking about. I wanted a, a leopard print shoe, obviously in leather, um, but that was pointy toed and had a black heel. And this is in Calvin Klein. And you guys know um, I love the style Gale from Calvin Klein. I think they're very comfortable. But I am so freaking excited about this. The shoes look so cute. So this is um, how they look on with the outfit that I'm wearing today. I really like them. They look very nice. They also fit pretty well despite the fact I'm wearing these um, compression stockings, which I actually wear every day now. On a side note, I wore the Makeup Revolution concealer for the first time today. And I think I like it. I mean, it didn't crease. It lasted pretty well on me and I, I mean I didn't use a lot of it so I'm gonna try it a couple more times before I do a review on it of course but it's so funny too because the blush on this side is definitely more than the blush on this side <laughs> it's because I was sitting at my desk all day today because after essentially five days of not being in the office I had so many emails to go through and I was also reading a report and I had my hand like this the entire time I essentially just wiped off all of the blush on this side, but this side was still fine. I probably looked like a crazy person, but no one said anything, so that's rude. So since I'm doing a one in, one out rule, I have decided on which pair of shoes I am going to be saying goodbye to in place of the new leopard print ones. I'm going to be saying goodbye to these, which are from Nine West. They have a really cute tea style strap to them, and I used to really love these, but I haven't been wearing them a lot recently, so going to say goodbye to these. I'm heading to work right now, but I just wanted to show you guys my hair because I am going to be getting a haircut later. So my bangs are very long. Um, my hair's grown quite a bit actually since my last haircut, so it's probably, probably grown an inch. This is how it looks. Can you guys see? Anyway, I'm excited to get a haircut. I'm going to go shorter. Um, I'm not quite sure how short yet, but definitely shorter. Hello, it is Thursday now and I cut my hair yesterday. I meant to show you guys, but it was such a crappy day yesterday with all the snow that we got and the wind and I just came home and I passed out. So um, yeah, this is the hair. I wanted to go a little shorter, but my hairstylist said just try this for a bit and then the next time I come in, if I do want to go shorter, I should go shorter. I love the cut in the sense that um, when it's actually styled properly, and by styled I mean when I take the time to actually blow dry it, it looks really nice. But when I don't, I have this like weird kink in my hair, like right there, that's kind of annoying. I just straightened my hair a little, if you noticed. So yeah, I'm trying to work up that little kink, but this is what my hair looks like when it's straightened a little bit with my Daphne hairbrush. Happy Saturday, I'm just getting ready to go to a hair appointment. I'm gonna get my hair slightly trimmed. By slightly, I mean probably an inch. I realized that I don't like it like this length. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. Um, I want it to be like above the shoulder because my hair does this weird thing because I have layers that the top layers will swoop in, but then the outer layers, outer layers will swoop out, and I don't like that. So I'm going to try to get it all nice and even above the shoulder. It's really crappy weather today, so hopefully my stylist doesn't cancel because I really want this fix. It's been bugging me all week. And then, yeah, we're gonna go for lunch. Oh, it's also the Sephora sale, so I might pop into Sephora. I already placed an order on Friday, um, but I only got four things in my order, so I have one more left that I can pick up because if you watched one of my videos, I think it's the one where my all the products I hit pan on video. Um, I said I was only gonna pick up five things. Hi, we're home now. It is a winter wonderland outside, so it did not do any of the other errands, except for going to Fabricland. I went to Fabricland to pick up, obviously, some fabric, because I want to make a couple of skirts for spring, whenever it gets here, and then also for summer. So I'll show you guys that later. I also have to tidy up my spare room, which is where I have my sewing machine because I want to really dedicate more time to sewing but I'm really unmotivated because even though I have a sewing space it's just not organized very well yeah so this is what's happening outside the window right now it is April 14th but it's snowing a lot hello it is Tuesday and I survived the winter snowstorm my car did struggle a little bit getting up the driveway because there was like so much slush and snow and I've already taken the winter tires off my car and I'm just riding on all seasons. It's definitely not my preferred method of traveling, but 
Hopefully we don't get too much more snow. I think it's supposed to snow a little bit more this week, but then by the weekend, it's gonna be springtime weather, so that's exciting. I finally got my Sephora order because over the weekend was the VIB Rouge sale. It's like the spring event that the Sephora has. And I placed the order on Friday and I finally got my parcel today. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday, but again, winter snowstorm didn't really happen. Before I show you guys the Sephora stuff, I wanted to show you guys my new shoes. So they're from the brand Allbirds. Uh, not sponsored, but the bone I actually got matching pairs, which I think is so funny We're gonna wear these in Barcelona when we go these shoes are made out of merino wool, which is kind of cool and interesting Apparently these are the most comfortable shoes that you can buy um, I am NOT a sneaker head, but I do like shoes and yeah, I like the style of this um, We both tried them on and they're super light very comfortable. I am interested to see how these wear It's not made out of synthetic fibers like your typical shoe would be but these are in the style maple And the reason they're called maple is because it's an ode to My Canadians out there, but there's like a little maple leaf underneath this tab This is just the box that they came in so I got a seven a women's seven uh, I usually get a seven in shoes and it fits pretty true to size. It's just a really cute box Here's a little peek at my Sephora haul. Like I said, I only got five things and I will show you guys this in probably a, a real haul. Hello, happy Tuesday. Send you guys on the ledge here. Um, I haven't seen you guys in a while and it's because I haven't really been vlogging, but I wanted to get this vlog up. So that's why I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit. I actually just got back from Shopper Drug Mart. I got this really sweet uh, PR package from Derma Blend and it has two of their um, newest product launches. So one is the Flawless Creator uh, Multi-Use Liquid Pigments. It's kind of like the Cover FX Cover Drops, is that what they call it? Um, but yeah, Dermablend. I really like Dermablend products. Um, I've used their powder. I've used both like a setting powder and also like a powder foundation from them, and they're both really great. I think I did declutter the Dermablend powder, but only because it works too well. I feel like as I age, my skin gets less and less oily. Like it, I used to have really oily skin. Now I have more combination skin and I feel like more often than not my skin's normal. And yeah, for some reason as I age, my skin's just becoming more normal. So that Dermablend setting powders, like the translucent setting powder works really well. Like too well that I find it to be too drying, but if you do have oily skin, it's gonna be perfect for you. Anyway, they sent me two of their products. So like I said, one is the Flawless Creator Multi-Use Liquid Pigments, and the other one is the Glow Creator Multi-Use Liquid Highlighter and Pearl. I really like the formulation of this um, liquid pigment, but it's too light for me. So this is in 25N, and yeah, it's just too light. It's like two shades too light. So. I am going to probably give this to my mom because she's uh, much fairer than I am. And instead, I picked up, the reason I went to Shoppers is because they carry Dermablend, and I picked up some things. So I picked up the shade, which is in 37W. The next shade up from this one was, I think, 30. I don't remember what the tone was. And then the next shade up from this one was 40 neutral maybe um, but this one which is 37w seemed to work really well for me so this is the one I picked up so this was $52 I don't remember what the cover FX one is but it's probably around the same this is what they look like you can definitely tell a difference so this one here is uh, the 25 N and then this one is 37w so what else is new um oh I forgot to follow up on the event I went to last week with indeed labs I typically don't go to events because I work a full-time job. It's not downtown. So for me to go to midweek, mid-afternoon events, it's not very convenient for me. So I just happened to be downtown for a client conference at um, a law firm. So I was just there in the morning and that event happened to be the same day I was downtown for that client conference, but in the afternoon. So it was perfect timing. So I was able to go and I had so much fun. If you saw my Instagram, um, one of the reasons I was so excited to go was because Caroline Hirons was going to be there. and. Caroline Hirons, she, if you don't know who she is, I'm sure you do, but she has a um, skincare blog and also a YouTube channel. My skin after even like a four hour flight is just blotchy and red and 
I got pimples for days. <laughs> she came off a of flight probably like the, the day before, or the couple days before from um, the UK and her skin still looked amazing. So if you are not subscribed to her, if you haven't checked out her channel or her blog, you definitely should. And you should listen to every piece of skincare advice that she gives you because her skin is amazing. Def she definitely practices what she preaches because her skin's flawless. Anyway, the event was a lot of fun. Caroline Hirons is hilarious. Um, she did like a little speech and then a Q&A and then she kind of went around to talk to the rest of the room. Anyway, it was a great event. Um, Caroline Hirons is hilarious and she's super witty in person, just like she is on YouTube. Whatever you see on YouTube is like what you get in person. Um, the food was great at the event. The products are great. Uh, it was just awesome time. So I was really excited to actually be able to go to an event because like I said, I rarely do. So while I was at the Indeed Labs event, I did get some samples. Um, the reason for the event was to celebrate the launch of their newest Hydroluron product, which is I think called the Intense Moisture Lotion. And it's really lovely. It's like a great hydrating moisturizer. Anyway, I did get some samples there, but Indeed Labs is actually on sale at Shoppers Drug Mart right now. So you can only really get Indeed Labs in two places in Canada. One is online and two is at Shoppers Drug Mart that I know of. But these are the two products that I picked up. So I got the Resistance Booster. So they have a whole range of um, booster serums is what they call them. They're serums dedicated to like a specific thing. So they have Resistance, Radiance, uh, I think they have a Q10 one, Collagen Booster, and it's something that you can use alone or as a boost to your skincare. So you can add this to maybe a serum that you have or um, a moisturizer. So it's just supposed to give you that added little boost. And I picked this up because I remember Caroline Hirons talking about it at the event. And it says that it's the ultimate reinforcement to balance, restore, and maintain skin's health while boosting its ability to naturally resist damage. So she mentioned using this after her long transatlantic flight. And I'm going on a flight pretty soon. So I figured I would just have it in my arsenal so that you know my skin tends to freak out when I go on flights especially long flights and I just figured I could use all the help I could get so I picked this up so I also picked up the retinol reface I am using currently the retinol from the ordinary which is the 1% in the squalene oil and I really like it but I just recently used up the other retinoid from the ordinary which is the Grand Active and originally to replace it I picked up the philosophy uh, ultimate miracle worker but if you saw my favorites video you will know that that did not work for me so I stopped using it immediately um, so I wanted you to give this a shot I really enjoy the ordinary retinol but sometimes I just miss having a retinol in a cream form because that one like I said is in an oil form and for a really long time I was using retin-a which is in a cream so having it in the oil is a little bit different for me and sometimes I just like miss having it in a cream like this so I'm excited for this I heard a lot of good things about it I don't really have any other news to tell you guys other than this weekend the bone I are heading to Barcelona which is exciting so probably my next vlog will be a um, travel vlog to Barcelona I've been trying to upload a vlog at least once a month and so far I've been kind of failing <laughs> I really haven't been vlogging that much throughout the week because one I've been really busy at work and two I've been kind of more focusing on um I guess more my beauty vlogs so um I've been trying to do more videos that you guys have requested literally ages ago I am going to stop rambling now I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog and I will see you in my next one bye